Something old, something new. Something wicked this way comes. I'm Nick, weapons engineer for Team Bloodsport, and it's time to go back to basics. This is the Classic Bar. In many of our Season 5 matches, we found ourselves wishing we had just a little extra reach and grab on our opponents. Our original long bar served us well in Season 4, and we adapted it to be reused again that year, but after breaking our big tri bar on Gruff, we decided to be cautious and run the sturdier thick bar for the rest of our fights. The thick bar did alright, but it suffered against the longer reach of Tantrum's forks and the blade of hijinks, both fights where I think a longer, more aggressive weapon would have helped. Honestly, we would be pretty depressed if we broke our original bar, and after six fights in Season 4 it deserves to retire with honor, more on that later. And so, with a few refinements and changes, we bring you an updated version of the original weapon of Bloodsport. Now you might be thinking, hey, this looks exactly the same as the old one, why are you making a whole separate video about it? Well, don't let appearances deceive you. The new bar is a totally different material. Following our transition from S7 to AR500 steel, this blade was cut from the same sheet as Try Again over at Tell Steel, who, fun fact, have over 17 million pounds of metal on site. Tell has supplied premium stainless steels, alloy, carbon steels, and more to the greater Los Angeles area for over 50 years. Huge thanks to them, and make sure to check them out in the description. There's a few other differences for the new bar too. This version is slightly shorter, and the rake and relief angles have been reduced slightly, to improve durability while still retaining the aggressive profile and overall look. Early on, we called this one the slightly less long bar, but that's a bit of a mouthful, and when production started calling it the classic bar, the name kind of stuck. As far as strategy goes, this is our most aggressive weapon option this season. The extra reach, bite, and grab should be helpful against beefy control bots who may try to slip in underneath us, helping us deliver our hits before they have a chance to get control of us. After the whiplash fight, we were kind of wishing we had picked this bar instead. The other use for this bar is when we're fighting horizontals. It's a few pounds lighter than our other weapons, freeing up more weight for a front wedge, and the added reach should be helpful when we're trying to snipe wheels and frame pieces on lower, reachier opponents, something our other weapon designs have struggled with in the past. We had a feeling going into Season 6 that we'd get matched up against Tombstone this year, and we wanted to be ready. Additionally, we got a new pair of stabilizer fins cut for this bar, so it looks way cooler. The last change we made this year was properly machining the center bore. This is actually something we needed to do for all of our weapons this year to ensure that the bar and the bearing hubs are all perfectly concentric and square when assembled. Any tiny missed tolerance can result in a horrible wobble called a dynamic imbalance. Basically when the weapon is balanced while standing still and unbalanced while spinning, due to inconsistent heights between the two sides causing uneven accelerations. To help us with that, we went to our new sponsor this year, NTMA. They were able to fixture our blades in a big milling machine and machine out the center bores with amazing precision. NTMA is a machinist career college in Santa Fe Springs, California, where you can become a certified entry-level machinist in just 7 months. With 53 years of experience and 80,000 working alumni, NTMA offers unparalleled hands-on training and guaranteed job placement assistance. Their program's got you covered with everything you need to learn the machining skills essential for making something like, say, a battle bot. Their facilities have vertical mills, lathes, CNC machines, wire EDM machines, CAD computer workstations, and more. Over the course of our Season 6 build, we reached out to NTMA to machine several major parts and they delivered every time. Definitely check out their website at ntmacc.org, and if you're in the LA area, go to their upcoming open house to learn more and meet some BNS team members in person on February 26th from 10am to 12 noon. So what does this mean for our original long bar? We think after 6 fights and our recent lessons learned about material, it's time for the long bar to go into retirement. We've placed it back on Bloodsport version 1, which is now on display at NTMA Training Center. If you check out that open house next week, you can see it and retrograde. So that does it for the classic bar. Do you think it'll be as good as the old one? Better even? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.